Hi everyone, welcome back to the virtual classroom where we look, listen and learn together. I collected something on a walk the other day and I wanted to show you because it's sort of connected to what we're looking at about the mushrooms, but it's not a mushroom. It's growing on this stick here. I don't know if you can see close up there, something bright on this stick and it needs to live outside so when I finished I'm going to put it back where I found it because it's a living thing what's on this stick. It's actually called lichen. I don't know if you've heard that word before, lichen. I have a special book that talks about lichens. Oh it's a big book. This one. Botanicum book and it has some pictures of lichens here. Here's the word L-I-C-H-E-N-S, lichens. And it says they're not a plant, just like a mushroom isn't a plant. It's not a plant. They are sort of a fungal element and an algae, like what you see in the ocean or a pond, an algae. And they sometimes inhabit rocks or sticks or branches like this one. And they can grow in very, very harsh conditions. And they have a sort of sunscreen built into them that helps them protect them from the really, really harsh sunlight. So they can grow on rocks at the top of highest mountains and they can grow in the hottest or coldest deserts. And their pigments of colour that you can see here are created by high levels of sunlight. And this enables them to grow in very open and sunlit areas. But they sometimes grow in dense forests as well. I thought they were a very interesting shape there. It says that one, number eight, it's got a number on it is the Golden Shield Lichen. That's an interesting name, the Golden Shield. And it can grow up to 10 centimetres. It's a bright yellowy orange colour, that one, and grows in sunny places, but a dull green when they're in the shade. Hmm. So they can change colour and adapt to their environment. Very resilient type of organism, this one. Fascinating. I'm going to draw picture of this beautiful thing. I'm going to draw even maybe the branch that it's on. So I'm going to sit that on my book there to use it as inspiration for my drawing. So if you draw the branch it's sort of a bit like a cylinder but not quite. There's, there it is there, the stick. And then it has these sort of Greeny yellow, you can see the greeny yellow colours. They're sort of spongy looking. So it just goes splat out on there. And they're quite small, they're somewhat microscopic if you thought about it in that way. And they have these tiny little bits connected to them as well. See there they have those tiny tiny bits on there. Very interesting. They've been around for a very very long time and there are 15,000 different types of lichen. They only grow to about six millimeters high which isn't very high is it? I'm going to paint over some of my lichen now show that green colour there. Wipe my brush so it doesn't... So you can see some of the detail in there, those lichens happening. They've grown in there. Then some of the stick is a bit brown as well. You might have found the brown stick where you are that's covered in lichen as well. And 
The lichen can't grow without the fungal part and the algae part, and that's a symbiotic, it's called a symbiotic relationship. They can't grow without each other. They need each other to survive. I don't know if you've ever painted a branch or a stick before, but it has interesting shapes and different colours on it. And if you find one, maybe you could take a photo of it, leave it in its place because it is still living. It's living off that stick that it's on there. I'm going to title my page Lichen. L I C H E N. Lichen, you can see there. It's like a fungus and an algae put together. They grow on tree trunks or dead wood or even on the ground. You might have even seen some lichen on some bricks near your house on some stones they can survive in very very harsh conditions and they're a very beautiful organism there that's growing maybe you can go on a lichen hunt go down to the park or look in your garden look up at a tree you might notice some lichen growing on the big branches sort of spread out all over, taking advantage of that wood that it's growing on. Maybe you can draw it, draw those shapes, that colour, that really vibrant colour that is created in nature. I'll see you next time. Bye.